it's currently 5 22 in the morning it is early hey guys i hope all you guys are having an awesome fantastic day today i'm coming from waco texas you guys seem to like my pioneer woman video so much i kind of thought outside of the box what else could i do that's around the oklahoma area so we traveled down about five hours down here to waco texas if you guys watch hgtv you guys know where i am right now fixer upper we are starting off this epic long adventure here in waco texas at magnolia table which is their restaurant i think we made it to the right place i really do like how this restaurant looks it's really different and it really stands out this restaurant gets so busy they have to set up a queue line for people to wait in to get into the restaurant we made it in it smells amazing in here i am not gonna lie look at these chairs normally when i go to restaurants they have like scrawny chairs and it hurts your butt not here i'm excited to sit in this look at the presentation look at the napkins there's the menu the table set up they bring out some waters Here's a quick look at the menu. You have all your drinks, your coffee, all your fresh juices. Then you got appetizers, and I would recommend the Joe's Buttermilk Biscuits, maybe with sausage and gravy, but they also have strawberry butter. And here's a look at the breakfast, of the farm breakfast, the con breakfast. But I think I'm gonna go with this pancake breakfast because you get pecan pancakes, have French toast, breakfast tacos, oatmeal, and we have some stuff on the back more for lunch brunch but i am uh i looked at this avocado toast that looks really good fall turkey sandwich we have games family favorite chili over fritos and corn chips yum some desserts a skillet cookie oh my goodness gracious they also have a kids menu you're in good company they have a few souvenirs you guys can take home at the restaurant but we are going to the silos later and that's where I'm gonna be doing all my buying. But I like this charcoal shirt. I have hats, coffee. Oh, they have the coffee cup, which I have right here in front of me, which is really awesome. We got the homemade biscuits with strawberry butter. Looks so good. And we also got the donut holes. Guys, the biscuits with the strawberry butter, they're so good. Oh my goodness. Look at the breakfast. Got the pecan pancakes here. Man, they look so good. So fresh. My mom got the French toast. Looks really good too. My aunt got the breakfast taco. I must say, whoever thought of making a hash brown like into a little puff, it is so good and such a good idea. Also, these eggs are the freshest eggs I've ever had and the bacon is done exactly how bacon should be done and cooked and i haven't even got to the pancakes yet they know how to feed you here i am stuffed this restaurant is so cute okay i'm back in the hotel room because it is 6 51 and the silos don't open until 8 a.m so we still have about an hour and 15 minutes in between so we just decided to come back to the hotel room but i wanted to talk about quickly the breakfast the breakfast was amazing. I'm not kidding, that was the best damn breakfast I have ever had. I think what stood out the most was the food, especially the pancakes. They were very fluffy. They had a, like a good cinnamon taste to it. Kind of tastes like a pumpkin pancake and the pecans were so fresh. The scrambled eggs, I guarantee you those eggs came from a chicken either this morning or yesterday. That's how fresh those scrambled eggs were. The bacon, the bacon tastes just like beef jerky. It was thick, it was cooked right, a little bit burnt, but it had great seasoning to it. I really did enjoy it. Also, we got right in, we ordered, and not even five minutes later, we got our food. The service was amazing, the waitress was amazing, and the staff is really friendly, really kind. They really make you feel welcome, like you're going over to a family member's house and having breakfast. We made it back in the car. We're heading to the bakery, which opens at 8 a.m. So we still have a little bit of time in between, but I would rather get there early, get what I need done before the crowd comes. Our next stop is here at the Magnolia Press, which is their new coffee shop that just opened. I'm really loving the vibe in here. 
It's really nice and quiet. All the merchandise is 25% off. They have the coffee that you can get here. They have little coffee cups. Those are cute. Towels for your kitchen. They also have t-shirts down here that you can get. A lot of grab and go items. Oh, look at the bottled water. I am loving the design in here and how it feels in here. It is really nice. Then check this out. They have an outside patio with a lot of additional seating. It's be nice to come out here on a nice warm summer day. It's closed right now because it just started raining. They have a beautiful Christmas tree set up in here. Oh, nice. They're actually making a showroom here at the coffee shop. It's not open just yet. I love the small town feel here in Waco, but we're just leaving the coffee press. And what's really cool is the coffee press is so close to the silos, you can actually just a quick walk over, which we're walking over to the silos now. I can see them. They're like massive right here. See it? That's where we're going. Oh, here we are. We made it. Does this look familiar to you guys? Holy moly. Can't believe I'm finally here. We are now heading into the bakery. Oh my. Look at all the delicious treats they have. I think I'm going to get me a campfire cupcake for later. I mean, they have all kinds of stuff. Look at the cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness, they have cookies over here. Whoa, what's really cool is each different store you go to down here, they have a different t-shirt, such as the bakery one. I also wanna point out, when you guys come here, parking is free. You can park anywhere and it's free. That's really cool because most places I visit throughout the country and or the world, parking is the most expensive part, but down here, absolutely free. They also offer a free trolley here. Oh man, this is awesome. I believe this is the market where you can do some more shopping. Again, I'm just really loving the vibe down here. It's really homey. If you guys have pets, you guys can bring them down here. They have a whole lot of food trucks over here, a lot of additional seating, a big old restroom over here. And then there's downtown Waco, I believe, which isn't much, just small downtown. But my goodness, look at this. They are huge. And make sure you guys get here early because there's already a pretty intense line. Also, when you guys come visit the marketplace, be sure to come over here to this book and sign in and tell them where you're from. I signed. We made it in. Oh my goodness, it smells like Christmas in here. All right, I'll just take one of everything, please. Look at this, Chip's Corner, demo day. Oh my, that's awesome. They have some more t-shirts here. Pretty much every size. I believe it goes to double X. Some more t-shirts. I like this one. Hashtag demo day. They also have some baseball tees. They also have some long sleeve t-shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts. They have some pretty sweet hats you guys can purchase. These are nice for you ladies out there. They have a home body jumpsuit here. I always wanted something like this in my kitchen. Ooh, their candles smell really good. They have some really cool bags. You can use these for like groceries. Their Christmas ornaments are really cute. These are really nice coffee mugs. I mean, you can pretty much get everything you need for your home, kitchen, bathroom, everything all in one place. December 1st is tomorrow, so the store is pretty much covered in Christmas stuff. Oh, I really like this. Old school milk jugs. That'd be nice to have in your kitchen. The market was pretty fun. A lot of stuff I want, but I wouldn't buy a lot of it was Christmas and since I can only bring a suitcase back to Florida can't really buy too much but my mom my aunt are currently going crazy in the market so I just came outside to kind of just take it all in I got me a t-shirt I didn't see a hat I like so I just went ahead and got a t-shirt because it's actually getting pretty warm here in Texas this morning as the Sun is coming out but fun fact they are rebuilding or adding on to the marketplace so i think they're adding some more shops i think another like small bakery or restaurant not really sure but it's coming in 2020. our next stop in today's adventure harp design and today is small business saturday so we're gonna go in here and help out a small business such as like myself i'm a small youtuber so help me help you small business saturday all right let's go in here and check it out and here we are we made it inside look how cute it is in here a lot more Christmas. Smells really good in here. They also have some merchandise in here. I like these t-shirts. I want to say this is Harp's house because I remember watching an episode and literally right next door, they had flipped a house and 
this was a pile of trash. I believe they bought it for like $10,000 and they turned it into this. We are now in the back and this is where he makes all of his tables and does his wood chopping. And we can actually go in the garage where they film. Oh my goodness. It looks exactly like how it does in the TV show. Awesome. They actually have a few tables for sale. We can probably just hop in the car, drive around, do a little research on Google, and find some of the properties that they flipped. That would be pretty cool to see. We drove down the road about two miles to the outlet shop, and fun fact, this is actually Joanne's first shop that she ever opened up. Ooh, I would love some sweet tea, but it's not open for another hour. In this place, you can pretty much come and get clearance items. This is why it's kind of like an outlet shop, stuff that's not in season anymore, they're trying to get rid of. Look, you can get up to 75% off. I like these clocks. These are like 65% off. But overall, they have a bunch of cute, nifty little things for your home. Fun fact, I wanted this candle at the main market, but here at the outlet, you get an additional 25% off and I have another 10% off coupon. All right, guys, I just made it back home to Oklahoma. We just left Waco, Texas about five hours ago. We drove it straight back to Oklahoma City because I'm actually getting on a flight in a few hours and going back to Florida. But let's talk about today, getting to be in Waco, Texas, getting to watch Fixer Upper all these years on HGTV and getting to see the different areas where they film at, getting to see the silos in Magnolia Market and the restaurant. The restaurant, I know I already talked about it, but I think that was my favorite part of this trip was that restaurant. I still taste the food in my mouth. So good, great service, great food. We did get to go to the bakery. I got a s'mores cupcake, which was absolutely delicious. And then we got to go over to Harp Designs. That was really interesting because every episode they're going to Harp Design and they go in that garage or that backyard area. Overall, I had a great time this was something really fun to do my entire family came down there with me just to film magnolia it was amazing we did stay the night down there be sure to go check out my second channel i don't think a lot of you guys do know that i do have a second channel called just dev i'll leave that link down in the description if you guys want to check it out i actually made two different videos on that channel with more behind the scenes and different things we did leading up to this video on magnolia so be sure to go check out my second channel and you know thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up this shows me you guys enjoyed it and you guys care and you guys want to see more filming locations like this one i know we did pioneer woman already we did the blake sheldon restaurant and now we got magnolia done i do have a couple more ideas in my head that i'm playing around with but again you know, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely let me know down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys are new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often. If you guys want to help support the channel, please check out my Patreon page as it really helps fund all the future adventures I'm able to take you guys on, just like the one we did today. And I know it's Christmas time. If you guys are looking for a Christmas gift idea, please check out my Peace Ring page. If you guys want a Prince Charming Dev t-shirt, I'll leave that link down in the description and I believe right now it is 20% off by using promo code HOLIDAY20 and I'll also put that down in the description. Make sure you guys follow along on Instagram and Facebook and as far as now, I love you guys so much. It is nice to be nice on YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next video. Prince Charming, out.